eight Snapchat ad tips for increasing affiliate marketing conversions, okay? Now, Snapchat ads is just something I'm gonna talk about here because, you know, Snapchat is obviously something no one really does, okay? Uh, most people focused are focused on Google ads, Facebook ads, that's about it. Just think about it. So they own basically how much of the market share do you think they own? It's somewhere around 60% to 80%. Okay, I'd have to look at the statistic. You can look it up and I might be totally wrong. I'm pretty sure it might be. But the point is they own a huge market share. So most advertisers are there. Now, most people are on Snapchat. Now, I'm not saying Snapchat's the biggest opportunity ever. In fact, they're very strict. In fact, I don't even like them that much. I've made a little bit of money with them, but didn't focus on them too much, okay? Uh, I focus mainly on Facebook and adult and Google. Just like I said, like that's where all the money is, okay? So that's why I advertise because also that's where all the users are. Think about it. Everyone uses Facebook platforms. Everyone uses Google platforms. So if you want to get in front of everyone and have the best platform for that, uh, for advertising, because it's the most user-friendly, because there's so many advertisers, they have so much money and resources to create a great platform, user-friendly for all of us advertisers to advertise on. And so there you go. So basically, Snapchat ad tips for, for increasing affiliate marketing conversions. Here we go. Keep your ad video very short. Also keep it engaging, okay? Very powerful. Understand the audience of which you're getting in front of and the audience that is on Snapchat. The audience on Snapchat, believe it or not, there are older people there, okay? So it's not just young people. So just understand, you know, it's a wide range, but typically young. But I mean, everyone's there anyway, and you know, there's millions of users. And then don't underestimate quality, okay? There is quality there, okay? And a lot of it, okay? It's just people at the end of the day, everyone is quality. I mean, I don't know why we divide traffic into bad quality or good quality. Also, I, I like how much the cost per click is. I mean, it's really, really cheap compared to, you know, Facebook because there's less advertisers on Snapchat. So that's really good. Also, the click the rate can be way, way higher. It's just a swipe up. And it also has, you know, little things compared to Facebook that make people swipe up more. Okay, the call to actions that are available, uh, the preload feature that's available, and all those things. And they're and it's so easy to swipe up, okay, and easy to press X away from the ad. So it's like people swipe up more often. Does that make sense? So select the right campaign objective, okay? Very powerful to make sure you pick the right one. Now for me, I just go with the link clicks but I'm aware that you shouldn't do that, but you should do that in the beginning. So you need to basically put a pixel on your landing page and in your funnel where basically you're able to gather that data and then optimize for a lookalike audience. You basically can do lookalike audience, audiences, guys, with Facebook, I mean, with Snapchat ads, okay? Just like Facebook. When you have the option to use AI with the advertising platform, do it. It's very powerful. They are basically as effective as Facebook. They literally can find you the exact people that will convert on the thing you've optimized for them to convert on, okay? Next is, now is the time for direct linking. Now is the time for direct linking. So basically, they're not as strict with direct linking, guys, due to the fact they don't have as many advertisers. Now, also remember that they are pretty strict. I don't like how strict they are. They're basically like Facebook, just so you know. This is why I'm introducing to you guys the power of the non-strict adult. So you can advertise on adult and it's non-strict, but at the end of the day, if you want to do Snapchat, you'll be fine and everything. And you know, they are still really strict. They're gonna be as strict as Facebook. But anyway, things you can run on it is health, wealth, love, niches, but typically the best working ones are very evergreen niches, okay? Like loans and auto and insurance and finance niches and credit, okay, et cetera. Those niches are evergreen and they are less strict because of the fact that, you know, they're not as gray hat. So next is experiment with a native approach. What I mean by that is what do people typically post on social media and what do the, what does the content typically look like on Snapchat? Snapchat, uh, you just need to have native content. Native content basically means content that doesn't look like an ad is what I'm saying. Next is, be aware of the preload feature. So it's pretty powerful. Preload feature literally has everything load beforehand so it can load faster for users, okay, your funnel. That's very powerful. And then make your point immediately. You need to literally tell people 
what they're getting and to click and get it. Okay, so you need to, in advertising, you need to have call to actions. That's what that means. Next thing, 